in uh, Three Course uh, Feast, we have three plays that are quite disparate. One is set in Victorian London. One is set in Ossining. It's a contemporary play, and the other is kind of timeless, and it's set in Montana. Uh, the stories that they tell are quite different, but what ties them together is that in each case there's someone that is lost and there's someone trying to find that person. In a stage reading production, the way I like to approach it is make sure that the actors understand what they're saying, why they're saying what they're saying, and also make sure that they know how they should be processing what the other actors are saying to them. Untethered is a play that takes place in uh, Montana on a ranch, a horse ranch in Montana. And it's about uh, the, the uh, journey of a young woman who comes back to reconcile with her father. Um, I play the role of Samantha and she is, she's headstrong, she's uh, adventurous, um, but also really um, emotionally heavy, uh, I think. She's had a lot of um, things throughout her life that she didn't quite understand, um, and that, that weighs on her. I'm still figuring out. <laughs> I mean, um, I find it very interesting. I also find the, um, not to, I don't want to give any spoilers or anything like that, but I also find his situation very interesting in that he's um, willing to isolate himself um, for a sense of peace. It's funny, it's, it's, it's pretty much it runs the whole gamut of emotions. Um, it pretty much says everything, you know, and it's, um, you know, the wonderful characters, the people that you care about. Um, when, you, when you care about the characters and you, take the, you follow their journey, I think that'll be very much achieved with this, with this piece of, um, this piece of theater. In Deep White Phil, I play the character of Mrs. Weiler, who is a office administrator in a maximum security prison, and she actually does the paperwork for inmates who have died within the prison. Charles in Elwes is a, uh, is a British gentleman who uh, just happens to be walking down this particular narrow street and has this chance encounter with this, with this remarkable human being. My role as a dramaturg is to help the writer create the exact work that he or she wants. And that's wonderful because I'm sort of like the co-pilot on the plane. For many organizations, uh, the development of a play involves the actors and the writer and the director. WCT is one of those wonderful places where the dramaturge comes in and does something else. And what they do is they take and they try and make the play into what it can be at its best. One of the advantages with the audience is that they're right there and they will hear as opposed to what's already been preset for a main stage production, so you know what you're supposed to stay. However, when you're doing the, the reading, um, it's very intimate there. You have your actors that are there, you have the audience that's right there, and they're gonna hang on to every word that you say. The WCT uh, Reader Series is, uh, I, I think it's extraordinary for everybody concerned, certainly for playwrights who uh, finally get to hear the, the voices that were in their heads and on, put onto the page, but as an actor, you're, you're handed uh, something, and in a very, very limited period of time, you have to create this keeping in mind that you want to put your best foot forward. I think it's incredibly important for people to come to WCT's um, production because there is completely new work um, created um, by local playwrights. The actors are local, the directors are local, and it's um, a really special place. I think people should come see this uh, Three Course Feast because uh, it is exactly that. It is a great feast of three different plays, three different, very different settings, different types of characters. So it's, it's, like, it's like the best Thanksgiving dinner you could ever have because everything there is gonna be delicious and different. Mm -hmm.